And we back like broad straps is Vach Lombardi. We're here to take a look at uh, Virginia safety Juan Thornhill. Thank you all for coming through. But uh, like always, I always encourage you uh, to watch film on your own. So uh, what I mean by that is that I watched a lot of film on Juan Thornhill. I watched uh, North Carolina State. I saw a little bit of Miami, Duke, I believe it was Duke, and Indiana. But I'm only going to show you his North Carolina State film because, you know, Illuminati and all that uh, but I do uh, I do have some North Carolina State film that I can show you that's pretty safe for me to show so I'm, so I'm going to show you that but you can always go to YouTube and just watch film on your own because a lot of these points that I'm going to make it comes from those films uh, but I'm going to show you what I, you know just you know whatever I can show you from this North Carolina State film or whatnot. but I think he can play free safety and I think he can play strong, but it's conditional. I think he's mostly a strong. I know a lot of people are going to have him labeled as free, but if I have a, like if I'm going to label somebody free safety, there's a lot of responsibilities that come with being free safety. You know, can you, uh, can you be a cover zero free safety? Can you be a cover one guy? Uh, where's my mouse? Can you be like in the middle of the field, uh, playing both numbers? Like, can you cover that much grass? Can you have that elite, you know, type range or whatnot. I don't think Thornhill is that guy. I think Thornhill is a guy that can be a pretty good cover two free safety where he only he's only responsible for half the field or like a cover three free safety where he just patrols between the uh, the hash marks or whatnot, right? As far as being a strong safety where I really think he makes babies. Um, he He's good versus the run. He uh, His angles can get kind of funny sometimes. You know, just um, and I think that comes from seeing things kind of late, but that's only in the run game, right? Seeing things kind of late in the run game, uh, kind of throws his angles a little bit because he saw it a little late. Um, but if he's in the box or whatever, and he, you know, and he can see it pretty well, then his tackling is pretty sort of quasi solid. But I just do want, I do want him to work on his tackling or whatnot. But I like him at strong. I like him playing in the box because not only is he great versus the run, I like him as a man cover guy. He's a former cornerback. I like him as a man cover guy versus like running backs, tight ends. Um, I like him against slot receivers because that's where that that nickel corner experience comes from right um i like him um i like him versus um slots and i think he's really good versus the versus the blitz and i'm gonna show you a little bit of that today but you got one thornhill here he's number 21 that was a long intro i apologize he's number 21 right here and uh we just see him he's real comfortable in the box man like he's 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 not a low guy in the box uh he's six foot 200 and something combine nerds help me out with his uh with his measurables there but uh, when he's in the box uh, down here, uh, you know, busting ass or whatnot, he he's he he's not treated as a little guy. Like he's not just getting caught up in traffic. He's not just getting blocked by fullbacks or whatever. Like he can really he he can really hold his own and navigate through traffic and really make some uh, some uh, tackles here. We got him again. They really put him in the middle of that box sometimes. Sometimes he lines up in more um, safety-like spots, whether it be outside, you know, over here, or it could be on this side or whatever, depending on the strength. But they'll really put him in the middle of the box, you know, like a linebacker type role sometimes. I, and I find that interesting as well. You know, it's uh, it just shows versatility in the scheme, you know, uh, you know, just being able to put him in different places. As you watch him here, like I just said earlier, he's not afraid to navigate through this, you know, through this traffic here. He's a safety, but he'll get off of this lineman right here. He'll he'll uh, see 70 come to the next level, kind of sort of try to engage, get your ass off of me. And he'll get involved in that tackle right there. So, uh Juan ain't no punk, man. Juan ain't no punk. Uh, let's see what else we got here. All right, cool. Fantastic example, right? Juan is lined up here, and this is kind of the this is the free spot technically, but we're going to walk him down here, right? <clears throat> 
We're going to walk them down, put them in the box. Now it's a lot that, that, that Juan can do right here, right? He can either cover this guy. Um, he can look for first back out. Like if it's an option, I feel good about him tackling, you know, uh, uh, tackling guys in open space, uh, covering tight ends or like safeties or whatever. But I, I really think there's a, there's a place for him when it comes to blitzing. You know what I mean, um, like I said, he, he, he's a pretty solid tackler in the open field. If he can see it first and he can take the right angle there. And I kind of, don't want him this is this kind of what i mean i don't want him just tackling legs right here right i, I kind of want him to wrap up get a little closer to the waistline uh, put your hat on the ball and wrap up i kind of want that a little bit more um from him but i've seen different examples of him being a solid blitzer take a look at the duke game even watch him in miami or whatnot um but i think this is one of uh this is one of his positive positive traits here just timing blitzes and being able to get guys in open space I don't think he has much range as a pass defender in space. Let me explain. Like as a pure free safety, think about Earl Thomas. Think about um, Ed. Let's not even get legendary. Think about a guy like um, think about Malik Hooker. Right, Malik Hooker can be on this right hash, and I know that's the case because I've seen him do it. Malik Hooker can be on this right hash, and he can be defending a pass on the the left numbers. You know, I don't think Juan Thornhill is that guy. Now he's not slow though. It's just a lot of things that go in the range. Uh, you know, being a being being a rangy safety, you know, uh you you uh, got to have speed. I think Juan has speed. He's like a 44240 guy, I believe. He has speed. But as far as taking the angle to get to that uh to get to that pass breakup or whatever, uh seeing it, you know, reading the the quarterback's eyes just being football IQ type of stuff. I don't think that combination of of traits that 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 add up to range. I don't think Juan Thornhill has that. Um but I I showed this play or I'm showing you this play just to give you an idea of his burst. This is Juan Thornhill versus the run right here. We're going to show it. We're going to see the running back um kind of get to the edge a little bit and when he gets to the sideline, you're going to see Juan give you a nasty ass burst to the sideline. Juan uh Juan is right here and we're going to see him just work his way down to the box because that's what I mean, the running back's doing the same thing. He's going to mirror this running back here. He's going to work his way to the box, but once the running back breaks to the sideline, we're going to see Juan break his ass to the sideline as well. You're going to see a nice little burst from Juan Thornhill. Take a look at him here. We're going to see him set it up, set it up, set it up. You're going to go burst, 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 burst. Look at that burst right there, man. And it, 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 it helps him get to these landmarks quicker. You know what I mean? Uh, whether he sees it, um, you know, whether he sees it on time, whether he sees it late, it doesn't matter or whatever, right? But if he can see it enough, the burst really helps him that 4-4 speed really helps him get to these landmarks here let's keep going before i stop there though just a, uh just another point on on seeing it first one thornhill likes okay so say you got a good db coach or whatever right get your db coach to kind of coach him up a little bit one can can be developed a little bit because he played corner for the most part right so if your DB coach can teach him how to be a better safety, how to read keys better, um, how to understand, I guess, route combinations from a safety standpoint opposed to a corner standpoint, then maybe he can use that IQ and couple it with his 4-4 speed to become a better range guy, which would make him a better free safety in the long run. So I'm not saying he can't play free safety. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying it's probably going to, it's probably going to take a little bit of development and like mental processing for him to really become an effective free safety. But until then he is a strong safety with some range that can cover really well. Let me show you an example of that so we got Juan Thornhill deep here right um like I said as as long as he can see it he's athletic enough to get close enough to it and he can cover well enough to run with guys right now the only thing I don't want Juan Juan to do is to to run from the middle of the field to the numbers but let's just take a look at Juan at Juan Thornhill right here he's gonna see a dig in the middle of the field Yes, he's going to see a dig and he's going to read it and he's going to really drive on that ball, um, use his length in which he, he has some pretty solid length as well. Um, he's going to see it, identify it. I think he was a tick late. Just just one tick late reading it or whatever. No pun intended. One tick later. I think he was um, he was just one one millitick late behind this. Right. Like he sees it and you see him kind of 
kind of fumble around with his thinking here. But once he saw it, he really drove on that football. And look at that burst, man. Take a look at Juan Thornhill from here to boom, right? And um, and we're going to see him get eyes on the football, drive, and extend on it, right? Now, what makes Juan Thornhill not like a first-round pick type of guy? Well, Juan Thornhill would be a first-round pick if he sees this dig coming and bites that shit immediately. That'll make Juan like a you know like a you know like a better talent or whatever. It's not what he's what he's missing. It's just how well or you know how how well he does something right. If if he would have saw this dig and bit on it just a bit quicker, then he probably would have had an interception. But the fact that da, 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 but I still see it dig burst bow. Um, we still get a pretty nasty pass deflection there. Let's take a look at it from the cartel view to get an idea of him really breaking on that pass. We got Juan right there at the bottom of your screen. Pretty damn good. Let's keep YouTube watching. Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. So he does have some ball hawk ability. Um, if you want to see him uh, catch a lot of interceptions, you can go to his Miami film. If you want to see him um, tackling a lot, you can go to the Indiana film. If you want to see him break up passes, go watch him versus Duke. Um, but he does have some ball hawk ability. And kind of what I mean by that is just, you know, just being around the football, right? Uh, whether you, you know, whether he read it, whether his IQ took him there, whether his instinct took him there, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm talking about right now more so him finding the football, um, getting his head around finding it and, 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 and like getting the ball out of there. And this is really a cornerback's trait. Honestly, this is, um, you know, being able to, to to play with your back to the quarterback, looking back and then finding the football, um, that's a that's a that's a cornerback's trait. So it's really good that one that Juan Thornhill as a safety has that. So we see Juan Thornhill just navigating the space. I really don't want him navigating in too much space, but I think in between the hashes is a good place for him. So like a cover three free safety really works for him. Um, as long as he's in between the hashes and he can patrol people between the hashes you know, with like help on the outside or whatever. Right. I really like him in that role. So he's, he's playing deep, you know, doesn't have to cover too, too much grass, but he just kind of sees this guy breaking free. Right. Cool. He's going to run and break with him. And what I like about Juan, we're going to take a look at the uh, cartel view, but you can actually see Juan getting his head around finding the football and actually getting in on that, on that pass breakup. Right. Now, if Juan didn't get his head around, it probably could have been bad for him. He probably would have been dead as fried chicken. But the fact that he was able to see Juan actually finding the football in the air, not worried about the receiver, the receiver is going to be wherever the ball is at. Right. Um, him finding the football, Ball. Still looking at the football there. Uh, he was actually to uh, help get up and uh, break that pass. I think that's a ball hog, you know, a ball hog type trait. Um, so, like I said, get you a get you a DB coach that can really coach him along, so he can um, so he can develop as a as a um, as a free safety, so he can see things better, so he can angle a little better, he can process a little bit quicker. Uh, that's me. <laughs> that's me snapping my fingers. He can process a little bit quicker than maybe he can uh, get you a couple more turnovers or whatnot. Then we're gonna get another. Um, uh, just another look at one Thornhill in coverage. It's going to be the last play here. Uh, just take a look at him in coverage, man. And I see a lot of things from this play. I see a lot of, um, you know, just a lot of positive, uh, positive traits in this um, play here. First of all, um, Juan Thornhill. Okay. So like, okay. So the first, the first clue that we get, right. Take a look at Juan's hips, right. And they're opening up to the inside. So, so they're in this zone coverage. Look, they want help to the inside. They want to funnel these receivers where the help is. So Juan's going to open up his hips um, to the inside to kind of draw that receiver in there. But the receiver is breaking to the outside. Take a look at Juan's hips right here, man. Take a look at his hips transitioning from, um, uh, from inside leverage to I'm going to, you know, run outside with you you know what i'm saying uh just being able to see it and not trip and respond react and to get his hips around and once again finding the damn football take a look at him man getting his eyes up in the air finding the football that's a damn good trait um 
he could probably get some turnovers with a little bit of coaching, man. Man, with a little bit of with a little bit of coaching, Juan Thornhill can probably get you a lot of turnovers. He's a really smart football player. He's a smart football player. Um, he just gotta see it first. He just gotta see it first, and he's really good at covering. Like he's really good at man coverage. Um, zone is another thing, but like if he can like run with you in man coverage, I think that's his best trait. That's his best type of coverage when he can just line up on you and just run with you. Um, I think that's where he really makes babies. And you see him uh, right here to the outside breaking on the football there. Um, but hey, man, I didn't want to hold y'all too too long today. Like I said, I always encourage y'all to watch film on your own, and um, that doesn't change here. Like I said, this is his North Carolina State film, but um, go on, you know, just go on, go on YouTube and watch that Miami film where he had, where he had, uh, where he had uh, three interceptions or whatever. The quarterback was throwing that bitch to everybody that day. Um, but hey, man, watch that film. You know, go and uh, go on, go on, go on, go on, watch the Indiana film, watch the Ohio film, and you know, really, you know. Uh, really like learn something. You know what I mean? Study this guy. And, you know, don't just uh, don't just uh, take my word for it. Take take what I just talked about here and apply it to those film sessions and um, come up with your own assessment for Juan Thornhill. All right. Uh, like this video, comment, subscribe, and all that. If you don't mind, the Patreon is more important than food and water. Uh, join my Discord. There's a Patreon only Discord that'll be on my Patreon wall or something. Y'all can go find that link and um, click that in if you want. Uh, and support my merch. Uh, check out my shirts, man. Y'all have been very, uh, very uh, supportive. The response has been fantastic. Uh, you know, to the whole merch or whatever. So, um, hey, man, go go and get you a, you know, a DB film shirt. If you like DB film, go you know check out a DB film or or you know one of the um, I watch film shirts, speed strength ass whip shirts. You know what I mean? You know, get you one and um, wear it out in public and laugh at your friends. All right. Uh, Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, and the Peace, Kiwiski, man. Peace.